Well howdy, how are we all? Out for another day in the woods. Bit different this time today, I'm sure you'll all be absolutely devastated, but uh, <clears throat> not going to be doing any cooking today. Um, the suggestions about me opening up a cooking channel, not well appreciated. Uh, but no, going to be doing some hard labour today. So I'm going to be spending most of my time actually just uh, getting, getting wood and getting everything prepped, but just look at the surroundings. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't know about any of the rest of you, but see when you sort of go to your camp, the sort of feeling of excitement and adrenaline as you're getting closer and closer and closer, and you know you're going to be spending a few few hours in the woods. Uh, so just nothing better. So uh, going to be spending quite a bit of time at the actual the main shelter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go around a wee bit of uh, showing you what I'm going to be doing, uh, just so you have a bit of an understanding of the the background to it and the plans in the future. Okay. So there's the shelter itself. Um, so just that's the sort of start off it but i've got quite a lot to work to actually do today i've done sort of one side i just need to sort of finish off the other um but i have just noticed i've got a wee visitor that sort of <coughs> taking the main seat don't know if you can actually see him at all probably not so nice to have a pet um but what i've got to do today so I'm going to carry on with a little bit of the actual weaving and I think the plan of attack is to actually do all the weaving all the way up from bottom to top and then it'll actually be a case of I think the only way I'm really going to be able to do it is moss and just take my time and just make sure try and make it as waterproof as possible so what I'll be doing today is pegging okay so actually just drilling with the scotch auger the actual pegs along the bottom uh, and then doing that on the other side as well. From the point of view of the actual table, I don't know how I'm gonna get in there without interrupting the spider, but getting a table along at the actual end so I can actually work. Now, I've got two different levels I can actually do. So I've got that one across there, and then as well as the bottom one there. Uh, so I'll actually put two actual different separate uh, tables on there. Um, just so I've actually got sort of two, two lots of storage place. So it's really a case of getting the actual sticks for the actual base and then moving around to the actual back. So from the back point of view, what I'm looking to actually do is just lots and lots of sticks actually on there. Uh, just to actually make the sort of back a complete solid wall. And then as I said, the, the other side over, over there, just finish off the actual pegging and uh, tying. So, lots to do. So, we'll get cracking. Well, the first thing I'm actually going to do is get my sawing horse sorted. Um, it's looking a little bit sort of, now that I'm actually using it as much as I'm using it, it's looking a little bit worse for wear. A bit of a lean. So, we'll get that fixed uh, and then we'll get going. Okay. I don't know about you guys and girls, but there's nothing quite the same as sort of coming out into the woods and actually trying to build and like sawing things with your own saw that you actually made by yourself and the sawing horse that you actually made by yourself or the house that you're making by yourself. Uh, so I can imagine back in the olden times a massive sense of uh, achievement and it must have been great being a sort of builder. Uh, but obviously each person had their own skill set. So it's very, very gratifying. But very slow. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's one side actually completely done. But one other wee thing I was actually thinking about doing as well was on that section itself. I'm actually almost creating a, um, like a template where I can actually just sort of lift off and then put to one side um, for when I've got the wood burning stove. Um, or alternatively making some sort of special wee square frame uh, with it. So it'd be great to actually have the wood burning stove and been able to have it inside it. Um, so that's the sort of plan. And lastly, I just can't wait to get an overnighter done in this. It's going to be amazing. Really, really good fun. Uh, what I'm going to do now though is I'm actually going to go and get some uh, wood for the table. Um, so it's basically just going to be a case of, I'll sort of pop you over to where I'm going. So it's basically a case of that's the, the sort of length I need for the actual main bit. And then I'll need to take one of the actual main bits as well, um, the longer bits. Um, so I'm looking for two of them and then probably about 20 to 30 of these as well. So uh, off into the woods we go. Hopefully you can see the buzzards. How impressive. There's also quite a lot of red kites around the area as well, but none of them seem to be out wanting to play today, so. Nice to see some chantrell mushrooms. There was actually a big pile over by my uh, camp, but from the time that they were actually there, the next time I came, they sort of rotted away a bit, unfortunately. So as you can see, from the point of view of actually having the um, stuff for weaving, there's certainly plenty of um, dead fallen wood and etc etc so the weaving shouldn't really be a problem. But I said we'll get this bit done. Uh, so it's always a good idea, I mean I said what I'm looking for is two bits, um, sort of 20 bits like that and two bits like that so it's always a good idea to actually take them out uh, or alternatively another really good way of actually doing it is a piece of string. Uh, obviously the benefit you've got with a piece of string is it's uh, a lot lighter. <laughs> And obviously I can only take so many things back, um, so it'll actually make life a bit easier. But we'll see how we go.
the good news is there's plenty of uh, materials up there as well for, for the weaving so that'll be fun but I think I'll maybe try and get some sort of basket or carrying facility for actually taking everything back because I will need quite a lot so here we go. Okay, so just need to get this chopped down for the actual slats. So I'm going to try and do the two layers today, the top and the bottom bit. Uh, and then maybe try and look, at, look around for some stones to get the, um, the wee base uh, sorted out for the wood burning. So, so that's it, get cracking, we're cracking this just out. So I'm just going to mark out, that's the length that needs to be. So, we can see the idea, we just need a lot more. <laughs> so this was an old project of mine, but it sort of, haven't touched it for a while, so it's just sort of fallen to pieces. So uh, I'm going to try and do a wee cross beam in the back of it uh, just to try and solidify it and make it a little bit stronger 
Can I say it? A little bit on the wobbly side. A little bit on the wobbly side. But I'll be able to get it fixed. Oh. I don't think I'd like to sit here for long, though. But perfect size for the actual table, just for eating and all that sort of things as well. So uh, once I've actually got, I'm going to put the base of the bed, so I've actually cut the uh, base of the actual bed, so I'll get them fitted on just now as well. Um, and then next time it will be a case of just finishing off the top, pegging the sides, and then uh, I said the massive task of leaving. So I said that's going to be a, a fairly long experience, but I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, and then over there, the next few months after that, will be moss, 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 moss. Um, but I said I can't wait to do an overnighter. Sort of really looking forward to it. Uh, so I said just going to go and get the bed uh, or the the logs for the actual bed or the start of it, uh, and then I'll be back in a wee minute. Just another amazing day in the woods, really, really enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, somebody smacked my van yesterday and uh, drove off without actually notifying anyone. So um, I've got to go back and actually check out some CCTV footage. So I'm having to cut it a wee bit short, so uh, apologies. But absolutely great, loved it, really, really enjoyed it. Um, need to do a bit of work on the chair, but it's nice getting the actual chair in here. Nice getting the actual the foundations for the actual bed. So next episode, I'll be able to get a wee bit of uh, the bed side of things um, sorted out. Weaving wise, found plenty of stuff up there, so there's not going to be a problem with the weaving. Um, and then moss wise, it's really a case of trying to harvest a very small amount from, from lots and lots of little bits. Um, so I don't actually make any sort of big impact in one particular area. Uh, but thoroughly enjoyable, hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. It's just great fun. It's just great fun. You need to get yourselves out in the woods. Things it does for you psychologically and mentally and physically etc as well. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so sort of finished off actually the table, which was really handy really nice height and all that sort of things as well for future sort of meals and, and um, cooking etc because everyone knows how good I am at cooking so they'll all be looking forward to the next cooking episode uh, which I think is going to be mackerel uh, so really really fun uh, so as I said if you have enjoyed it please subscribe um, if you really liked it if you can please hit the like button um, and we can see you next time okay so thanks very very much for watching take care bye bye